Okay, so this is definitely not high on the list of topics that I thought I would be making a video about, but we had ourselves an article on The Athletic published the other day by, who is the writer here? Mark Antoine Godin, July 27th, 2022, so two days ago, going over a name that a lot of Canadians fans sort of hold in a pretty difficult light. Today, we're going over some comments made by Dominique Ducharme, the Montreal Canadiens' former head coach and a guy whose nickname really does paint himself in a very negative light. Now, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about here, but pretty much on Twitter, there's been a running meme ever since Marty St. Louis took over the Montreal Canadiens coaching position that Dominique Ducharme was quote-unquote a hockey terrorist. Now, I know that's a very blunt and strong thing to say about a guy, but at the end of the day, Dominique Ducharme was a head coach for the Montreal Canadiens that wasn't really put into the best position to succeed. It's not really like he handled that situation all too well either, and... Even though the nickname might be somewhat funny, it is very, very inappropriate. So that's just kind of the meme that's been tossed around here and there the past few months. But when it comes to Dominic Ducharme and the comments that he made lately on The Athletic, there are some very interesting things that he says that sort of illuminate a difference in, let's just say, perception that we can have towards the Montreal Canadiens and Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon and everything that's been going on the past few months. So, link will be in the description if you want to go ahead and read this article. It's on The Athletic. It's paid for material. If you have a subscription, you can go ahead and read it. But because it is paid for material, we are not screenshotting anything from this article. Instead, we're going over onto the Canadian subreddit because what Hab27 did was they posted the article on the forum and we had a comment from JackP123, so Jacques Plant, very nice username right there, who gave us some insight as to the comments that Duchar made. Now, this isn't necessarily stealing the Athletics paid-for content, it's just taking a look at the quotes from Ducharme, the man being interviewed himself, and saying here, this is what he had to say about X. So, without further ado, let's dive right into the topic here. I think most people kind of know the story, right? Dominic Ducharme took over for Claude Julien in the middle of last season's NHL campaign. He took over the team, they made it to the Stanley Cup Finals, Ducharme was the guy on the bench as they went there, and a lot of people were saying, oh crap, Look at this, eh? The team's really good. Then the next season, they lost out on Tatar, they lost out on Weber, they lost out on Price. The team just really wasn't the same. Dominic Ducharme was over here trying to coach this team into a better future, but nothing really worked. The team sucked, Cole Caulfield only had a goal in 20 games, and eventually he got fired. Marty St. Louis took over, and St. Louis reinvigorated this team with new life. Cole Caulfield started scoring goals, the team started winning again, for a short period of time before regressing back into their losing ways, and now you have yourselves a reputation of Marty St. Louis, Stefan Robida, and a few others that are in here, and a lot of Canadians fans are on board with the product that they are serving. This is what Dominic Ducharme said about his interactions with Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon. That's the side of it that hurts, he says in the article, or that's the most disappointing to me. It's not having the chance to sit down with them and tell them how I saw hockey. If the plan was to lose the most games we could and play the young players, I would have liked to have known that because I would have had a different approach with the team. I was trying to squeeze as much as I could everywhere to try to get some results. I saw teams that had games cancelled because five of their players had the virus. We had ten and another eight who were injured, and we still played. Now, I think this comment from Ducharme is really interesting because it kind of implies that had Kent Hughes and Gordon just told him, hey... We're kind of tanking here. We want that first overall pick. We want your Slavkovsky. Just go out there, play the young guys, and we'll see where we can go. The implied outcome here is that Ducharme would have done a lot of things differently had he known just what the plan was with the team. It's interesting that he notes that it wasn't really all too clear to him just what the plan was for the Canadians as he was coaching in 21-22. And it's apparent from the way he ends off this quote that he was really just trying to push everybody to go out there and win, do the best they can, get as many goals as they could, but... You know, unfortunately, that really wasn't a strategy that worked based off of the Canadians and their play under Ducharme. This is what he said on playing to win versus playing to rebuild. We were always seen as the team that went to the Stanley Cup Finals and that couldn't win. 
The coaching change, I'm not sure if he's referring to his coaching change with St. Louis or the Claude Julien coaching change to Ducharme, but either way, he says the change sent a message to the fans and the players that we're rebuilding. We're going to put our faith in the young players. The result was no longer important. Martin could talk about moral victories, and for me, if I talked about moral victories, I would get ripped. Okay, so he's talking mostly about the St. Louis hiring and how there's a little bit of a different perspective on the team from St. Louis taking over of the squad versus how he took over the squad at the start of the year. If Marty St. Louis talks about moral victories, it's fine. But if I talked about moral victories, I would get ripped because I'm coaching the team that just went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Marty St. Louis is coaching a team that just fired their coach in me and is quote-unquote rebuilding. Very interesting observation there from Ducharme. Maybe it's a little bit sour graping, I'm not really too sure. I mean, it's not like he's necessarily wrong here, so I'm not going to go out there and blame the guy for saying this, but either way, it is a very interesting shift in perspective that fans and media had towards the Canadians after Dominic Ducharme got fired. This is what he says about the captaincy of the Canadians. Eventually, in the future, I think Suzuki will become the captain, but will it be right away? It'll depend on if they think he is ready or not. This right here is the last quote in the article that is included in this Reddit comment. Finally, the closing. Dominic Ducharme points to unique circumstances to explain the Canadians 21-22, and across the league, there are many people who can recognize that the pandemic produced a ton of unique circumstances. Ducharme has no regrets about his one-year experience running the Canadians bench because he gave everything he had to a job that can be a grind and one that is unforgiving. But he does regret how much time it was given to do that job. It was an opportunity for me to establish myself, he said. You see, coaches today, they stay a while and then they move on. It's important to establish yourself, and I didn't really have the time to do that. Everything happened so quickly, and in the blink of an eye, the perfect storm took it away. It remains to be seen how Ducharme will land on his feet. This is a reply to this analysis here from iHabs1993. I really like what they said over here, which is why I'm including this comment in the video. Two things can be true at once. Firstly, Dominic Ducharme was put in an impossible situation to start 21-22. And secondly, Dominic Ducharme handled the situation in front of him very poorly. They played and lost the same way every time they took the ice. Petrie, who has been a quiet guy for most of his time in Montreal, had it with Ducharme's inability to adapt his systems that were clearly not working. Everyone seemed so confused every time they took the ice. Because of the void in leadership created by injuries to essentially everyone in their leadership core, they needed a coach who could step up, but Dom was not that guy. Ducharme might be right about everything he said in this piece. It does not invalidate, though, the Habs' decision to go in a different direction. The moral victories line killed me. If I talked about moral victories, I would get ripped. Yeah, Dom, because if you talked about moral victories, it would be a downright lie. Oh man, Canadians fans are coming in with the heat in this comment section right here. All in all, though, Dominic Ducharme was a very important Montreal Canadiens figure in the 2020s, I guess you could say, because he did coach this team to a Stanley Cup victory. I definitely don't want to make it seem like, oh, it's just him himself, which is why the Canadiens suck so bad in 21-22. Because you gotta remember, no more Tatar, no more Deneau, no more Weber, no more Price. He lost out on a lot of key pieces from that Canadiens final squad, and Dominic Ducharme just wasn't adapt enough to be able to coach his team to get get over those humps. It was a very unfortunate situation from the get-go, and Dominic Ducharme just came out on the losing end on both sides here. So, at the end of the day, I know a lot of Canadians, fans, myself included, are super happy with what Marty St. Louis has been able to do. The hiring of Stefan Robida was pretty great yesterday as well. But for Dominic Ducharme, the guy who ultimately started off last year's disaster season, a season that inevitably landed them the first overall pick, Yuri Slavkovsky, I think we all gotta remember that this guy definitely had his own perspectives that needed to be fulfilled as well. So, that's kind of why, this entire time, I haven't really been trying to label Ducharme as a hockey terrorist, quote-unquote, because firstly, that nickname is just so inappropriate, and secondly, it's easy to see that the guy actually tried, right? Sure, moral victories might have been a pure lie if you went out there and said it, but still, he was trying to work with what he had, he just wasn't good enough to be able to adapt to that. Talk in the comments your thoughts about Dominic Ducharme and this interview he did with The Athletic. I hope you enjoyed this Vichyraj Rolls 9 and... Bye.